Are you looking to find out how to calculate effective gross income in real estate? Look no further. Hi there, my name is Michael. I'm a broker in New York State and a real estate consultant here at Mashvisor. Here on the channel, we publish videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, where we talk about all things real estate and real estate investing, including traditional rentals and Airbnbs. So I'm very glad you're here. This video will explain what effective gross income is and why it's important, how to calculate it, and we'll break down the components of the formula for better understanding. So let's get started. What is effective gross income? Effective gross income is the true amount of income that a rental property is expected to generate. It's the total income expected from all the operations of the rental property after an allowance is made for the revenue that is lost as a result of vacancy or unpaid rents. Why is effective gross income important? Effective gross income is a key variable to consider when deciding the value of an investment property for sale. This metric gives real estate investors a clear picture of the actual amount of income that a property will generate after factoring in potential vacancy and rent issues. As a real estate investor, you need to know whether the rental property you are looking to purchase would generate enough rental income to cover your operating expenses. And you'll need effective gross income to determine key property income metrics such as net operating income, pre-tax cash flow, and it even helps calculate cap rate as well. Hey there, let's take a second from our video and talk about our sponsor for this and all videos, MashVisor.com. If you're a new investor who's just getting started in the real estate business and you need a little extra help getting started, please check out MashVisor.com. We help beginner and seasoned investors find the best areas for investing in both traditional and short-term rental properties. And of course, all listings come with analysis to help you make the best choice for your business. So please check it out, MashVisor.com, and you can get a free seven-day trial by using the link in the description. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. So let's look into this formula. EGI can be calculated by taking the potential gross income from a rental property, adding other forms of income, and deducting vacancy costs and credit costs. Let's now break down the elements of the effective gross income formula for further understanding. Number one, potential gross income. Potential gross income is the maximum amount of rental income that a rental property would generate at its highest rent if it had 100% occupancy during the year. Uh, this is, of course, hypothetical because it assumes the income property will be rented for the entire year and that tenants will pay the full rental amount as agreed upon and documented in their leases. And as any property owner can attest to, that's not always the case. <laughs> for example, if you are considering buying an apartment building with 10 units and each would rent for $1,500 per month. Your potential gross income is $1,500 times 10 times 12, which equals $180,000. In the real world, this is hardly ever the case. Therefore, as a real estate investor, you can't rely on this figure alone. You need to factor in other costs, such as vacancy costs and tenant debt. As seen in the EGI formula mentioned before, uh, these costs will be taken into account when calculating the effective gross income of rental property. Number two, other income. When calculating effective gross income in real estate, you also have to factor in additional revenue generated from a property's operation that is not part of the monthly rental payments you receive. This may include income from on-property amenities and services or add-ons that renters can pay for separately. Landlords can explore a variety of creative sources of income to boost their cash flow. Uh, for example, uh, you can install laundry machines, vending machines, parking permits, storage space, gym fees, late fees, lease termination fees, pet fees, and common area maintenance. This additional income contributes to a rental unit's worth and should be included in the calculation of EGI. Vacancy costs. Not all rental units will be occupied all 12 months of the year. In real life, a rental unit may stay vacant before you can find a tenant if one leaves. And this means that during that period, a real estate investor will not be receiving rent and will have a loss in income. Therefore, when calculating effective gross income, it's essential to factor in vacancy costs. 
This is the amount of money the owner is likely to lose based on the average vacancy rate of the area using comparable properties and historical data from the property if you have access to it. From our earlier example, the average vacancy rate is 10% at any given time. One out of the 10 units will be vacant. The vacancy cost will be 1500 times 12, which equals $18,000. Sometimes a rental unit may be occupied, but the landlord does not receive their expected rental income because the renter is not paying any rent or not paying the full amount of rent. Unfortunately, to be in alignment with state and local eviction laws, it may take a landlord a couple of months or more to evict the tenant legally. And during this period, the landlord will experience some credit loss. Therefore, as with vacancy costs, a bad debt allowance should be taken into account when calculating effective gross income. Tenant debt can be estimated based on historical or housing market data. So there you go. That is how to calculate effective gross income in real estate. We post videos three times per week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and we just started publishing daily videos featuring a daily tip for real estate investors. So check that out. As you can see, our channel has a lot of really great free real estate content to offer. So please do consider subscribing because you're bound to find something that can help you and your real estate business on our channel. And if you're a new investor who's just getting started in the real estate business and needs a little extra help, please be sure to check out mashvisor.com. We help beginner and seasoned investors find the best areas for investing in both traditional and short-term rental properties. And of course, all listings come with analysis to help you make the best choice for your business. So please check it out, smashvisor.com, and you can get a free seven day trial using the link in the description. As always, my name is Michael, check me out. It's Michael Talks Real Estate, and I'll see you next time.